Hello, Toad here. Today, I will be sharing another step in the terraforming process, which is creating custom brushes for a world painter. We start by creating a new, flat map in the program. Doesn't matter what you name it. For some reason, it doesn't like starting at zero for me, so I started at 10, and then flatten it out, before I began creating my brush. The brush you make can be as simple, or as complex as you want, using the brushes you already have. Since the brush I created for this turned out to be a 2 hour long process, I will be showing it to you as a time lapse. Make your brush to suit your needs and projects. You don't need to do it exactly the same way I do. Okay. The map is now ready for brush making. Let's get to it. One of the things I like to do is start out by creating a basic shape, using a category set of brushes. I cycle through them, as I work around their placement, and rotate a bit each cycle. The thing I like about this method is, I often end up with unusual shapes, and I have yet to repeat one. At this point, it occurs to me that my shape vaguely looks like a fish, and it's bugging me. Rather than start over, again, since this is something I am prone to do, I decide to work on making this look completely different. A part of me wants to fill in all the little holes in the mainland, rather than to leave them as lakes, but I don't since it creates a sense of texture to the terrain. I'm also beginning to wonder what kind of terrain this is. It's beginning to have a glaciated feel to it. Since I capped the brush height for the creation of the shape, this terrain is currently very flat. I will need to fix that, in the next step by adding some noise. Before I begin adding noise, I adjusted the terrain levels, so that anything above height 70, but below the perimeter, would be mesa, so I could see where I made changes more easily. When the map is saved as a brush, it's a height map image, so whatever materials you paint with, are not relevant. I didn't really have anything specific in mind other than mild hills, which in retrospect, 
is inconsistent with glacial terrain. And it wasn't until this point, that I remembered with this version of World Painter, the terrain doesn't update with the map's theme as changes are made, unless you set the brush to do that. Now that noise has been applied to the entire shape, we can remove the water to ensure a clear image when we save it. Honestly, I don't know if water makes a difference, or if it's just having the unchanged terrain at zero, but in every tutorial I've seen, the map is dry, so I'm going to assume that it matters. Especially since any time I didn't think to remove the water, I didn't start from height zero. One of these days, I'm going to test that and find out, to save your map as a brush. You can choose to export it as an image file, as a height map, or as a higher resolution height map. Either height map option automatically selects the World Painter Brushes folder, while the image option automatically selects the Documents folder. Choose whichever works best for you. Just make sure your image file is placed in the Brush folder if you chose the image option. You can open that folder through the Tools menu in the program. Once you have it saved, Regardless of the option you chose, you'll need to restart World Painter before you can use the new brush. Once we have World Painter reloaded, we can test our new brush. From the looks of it, at greater heights, the holes I had left while creating the shape, aren't that big of a deal. Don't forget to check your brush both ways, since they can be used for creating either land, or lakes. I'm actually thinking this brush is better suited for lakes. And that's all there is to it, and I'm ready to move on to the next step of my project. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If it was helpful to you in any way, please hit the like button to let me know. If you'd like to see more videos from me, please subscribe, and be sure to click the bell icon if you want to be notified of my uploads. Feel free to check out the other videos displayed here before you go. Until next time. I wish you much light, love, and laughter.